Now we've got the hang of balancing, stepping onto a rail, walking on the rail, we're getting our head around the concept of having our centre of mass above our base of support and how to hold our balance, we can look at incorporating a little bit of a jump into this. And we're getting onto our rail positions. This is something that is generally regarded as a reasonably difficult jump to stick from a rail to a rail or anything that involves landing on a rail. The difference between landing on a rail and landing on a box or a block or a wall is that once you've landed, you then have to get your balance and keep your balance. So you have to keep working even once you've landed the jump. If I were to jump and land on the floor, once I've landed, well, I'm okay, I'm in balance again. Whereas by doing that on a rail, I have to then actively try and keep that balance once I've landed. So not only landing in a very precise manner, but keeping my mass above that base of support to then get off the rail safely. We've had a go at stepping on and stepping off with our low centre of mass. Today we're going to try and step onto the rail and be a little bit higher to mimic that land. So for here, I've got my knees a little bit soft, a little bit bent. I'm going to step on and try and hold my balance. And step off. Easy. We're now going to do a little bit of a skip onto the rail. And stepping off. Can we do that and hold our balance? And stepping off. What you'll find is if you jump to a rail and land on one foot and try and bring the other foot in, it's a little bit harder to regain your balance because again, we've got this large piece of mass which is then coming forwards after we've already made contact with it. So once your front foot touches and you're trying to get your balance, you've then got another big piece of weight that's, trying to, that's shifting where your weight is. Generally speaking, it's a lot safer and a lot easier to land on this rail on two feet at the same time. But it's hard to make yourself do that when you're learning to jump and learning to balance as everything in us wants to land on one foot and step to things nicely. By jumping to it, we can use those techniques we've been learning and get our balance. So from here, from just a step back, just outside where the feet are, take a little jump and try and hold that balance. So here. Once again, trying to keep my center of mass above my base of support. So when we land, I don't want to be leaning too far forwards. See, there's a lot that's just going to send you forwards. Remember, a low centre of mass will be easier to balance. So if you do feel like you're losing your balance, bend your knees, get low, get into that position we can practice. Once again, from just outside the feet, try and take a little jump. And you can step off. What we can then do is try and take off a little bit further back, further back, further back, further back. And seeing how far you can jump from onto the rail and still stick it. Something that's worth thinking about when you're doing jumps to rails is not jumping straight at the rail. If you come in and land here, my base of support's there, my centre of mass is all the way back here. Can I go bum first straight to the floor? We need to go high and come down into the rail. If I'm going to jump at this rail, I'm not going to jump straight at it. I want to go nice and high and come down onto it. I'm going to minimise my forward momentum. It's going to make it easier to stick, and I'm also landing straight on it, which means my centre of mass is going to be above the base of support, not way behind me. So that's the challenge for today. Can you jump onto the rail and land two feet at the same time? Hold your balance. If you can do that, try and take off a bit further back, a bit further back, a bit further back, and see where the limit is for you. Remember to jump high, don't just jump straight at the rail. Enjoy, see you soon.